Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be fixing this haunted Xbox. So this one immediately powers on as soon as you plug it in. And if you press the eject button, well, that'll turn it off. You'd also wiggle it around and it'll turn off and act all weird on you. So we're gonna open up the console and see what's going on. We've revealed the main board here and see what the damage is like. Um, it's not looking too hot right now. As you can see, it's quite dusty. And here is our clock capacitor area. So if you didn't know, this is an older Xbox, the uh, 1.0. And as we can clearly see, we've got some corrosion damage. And it's not just your basic corrosion damage either. This one actually looks like it might actually require some parts to fix. Oof. Well, first let's go ahead and begin by removing the clock capacitor. That's our main culprit of this haunting. And there is our clock capacitor. Pretty bad shape, if I may say so. One whole leg just completely disintegrated. Let's take a look and see how bad the trace damage is. Some of this dust. Yeah, this corrosion is gonna be pretty bad. Thinking all my years of working on these Xboxes is gonna be by far the worst I've ever experienced. And you can clearly see that there's like nothing left for large portions of that bottom trace there. We have to take it all the way to where the USB plugs in in order to restore this bottom trace. And of course it would have to go all the way pretty much to right there where the, I guess that's an eight. We're pretty much right where that is, is where it would end for that bottom trace. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more cleaning on the front and back. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it this bad ever. There's so many components that have been damaged by the electrolytic fluid. Uh, we're not gonna be doing any capacitor replacements on this thing at this time. We're just gonna take care of the trace rot and then get this console back to functioning order. Look at all that electrolytic juice. So now it's time to assess the damage. Uh, right now it doesn't look too bad. All right, let's go ahead and touch up some of these solder joints. We're just gonna apply some flux to all of the suspect components. And now we're gonna add some new solder to some of the ones that look like they're damaged. So that'll be these three here. Some of the times where it doesn't pay to be a lefty. Now this backside doesn't look messed up per se, but may as well just fix it. If we did the top, we may as well just do this one too. And we're not gonna clean up our mess because, well, it was corroded before and we wanna keep the corrosion. Just kidding. We're gonna be cleaning up our flux after we're all done doing our soldering. And we have one more side here, which it actually looks like it's in fairly decent condition. Now we just have this guy right here next to the capacitor, which of course right now it doesn't look like it's all that bad. Yeah, maybe I wanna go ahead and use the scratch pan for that. We'll go ahead and add some new flux. There we go. That is pretty bad. The rod is deep with this one. So we'll go ahead and start by using the fiberglass pen to really see uh, how bad the damage is. Just scratch away all of this old mess, this gunk, and see what we're working with. Yeah, it's just like I, uh, I had feared. That entire bottom trace is, it may as well be gone with how much is left. And like I said, I'd have to take it all the way to where the USB ports plug in, or the controllers in this case, because that's technically what they are. We'll start by fixing the bottom trace, and if we need to, we'll go ahead and progress on to the next few traces. So that also has what looks like some kind of rot. Now in the past, you've probably seen people use wire and then do some, uh, some extensive routing, I would say, finding an alternate point connecting to a point on the board. I would much rather just go over the trace the entire way. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and pre-tin this whole area here. And we're just gonna go over it just like that for the entirety of this whole thing. All right, now let's attach our wire for the bottom trace. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need the good tweezers for this. Of course, we just run it all the way across to where we figure it's good. So I'm gonna be taking the wire to this very corner here. Yeah, looks like it's good. Now, of course, we'll be taking it to the very last trace over here. Now, I could stop right now where I'm at and probably call it good, but I'm gonna go ahead and solder to a couple of places on this trace. We do need to take care of this side because I guess it became dislodged maybe, I don't know. Now 
And of course we want to tack down this corner over here. There's not really any specific reason, but I don't want any of this to move. And we of course don't want the console to come back. Let's make sure none of this is loose. Probably time for a little bit more solder. Now I would probably say this is all overkill and not necessary. You most definitely don't need to do this. You could just fix the gaps that are messed up and call it a day. I want to at least tack in some of it that way it doesn't move. Plus this is also for the challenge. If you recall, we just need to make it to that port, which we're very close. It is a little close for comfort, so I think we'll move it ever so slightly. We've reached the end. There you have it. Let's go ahead and get this clean, make sure everything is adhered properly. We're going to perform a continuity test on this before we even attempt to power up the console. Our trace is in perfect condition, but is it touching other traces? So that seems fine. And then obviously we didn't really perform any work on this trace. Yeah, and that's fine too. All right, so I just plugged it in and it is not automatically powering on, so that is some good news. Let's press that power button. Mmm, looks like it's working. That fan could use some attention, that's for sure. How about this eject button? Whoa, looks like it's working. I'm actually kind of surprised this thing ejected without me having to open it up and clean it. And the console turns off just fine too. It's not automatically turning on. And of course, uh, jiggling it a little bit or warping it a little bit it's not turning on by itself anymore so that's great all right so we're going to do the final touches on this thing and then we're going to call it a day so no repair would be complete without coating this thing so that's what we're going to do next we'll be using some of our uh, solder mask ink here now i'm going to say you want to apply a little and believe me i would like to but we all know that's not going to happen Let's see if we can brush this on without it looking too bad that really does look like a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and use our UV light on this thing. Probably gonna take several rounds just because there's so much of it. And there's how it looks. We have successfully taken care of the trace rot from the clock capacitor on this 1.0 Xbox console. I'd say it's looking quite nice. So that's kind of all I have for you. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, you liked what you saw, just remember to leave us a like and a subscribe, and thanks for watching. Until next time.